To start this off, uh, I feel impressed to just relate a little story. Uh, one of my, as this is how I understand the story, as my wife explained it to me, that a few years back, I'd say maybe 20 years back, my uh, wife uh, <clears throat> remembers that one of my high school buddies named Kent Taylor sent a poem for me. He says, this poem describes you. And uh, it was interesting, uh, a little background on him. We were in the same class, the class of 1952 Idle Falls High School. And uh, this was in our junior year. And we were talking, and I said, why don't you double date with me tonight? Carol and I are going out. Well, I'd like you to double date. Uh, who would you like to ask out? He says, well, I'd like to ask out Joyce Hart, but I know that she's not going to go with me. Well, I didn't particularly care for who he was dating, and I said, well, maybe I can arrange for Joyce Hart to go with you. He says, it'll never work, never work. Nope, nope, I don't want that, I don't want that. I said, well, let's, uh, let's flip for it. Uh, if, I, if we flip, I'm heads and your tails. So if I win, then I call her and set up the date, if possible. And he, he finally concurred. So flip, I lost. He won. I said, two out of three, two out of three. He said, no, no, I've got this one. No, I said, come on, two out of three. Be a sportsman. You're already up on me one. You only have to get one out of two, so the odds are in your favor. And so he concurred. So second flip, I won. The third flip, I won. And I called Joyce. She agreed to go. Well, Joyce is his wife today. Carol, who dated with me, is my wife today. So good came from that flipping the coin. Well, so he sends me this poem written by a lady named Hannah Kahn. I have no idea who she is. I haven't been able to find out. I've tried. But... This is the poem. He said, this characterizes you, Doug. It goes like this. Ride a wild horse with purple wings and stripes of black and yellow, except his head. His head must be red. Ride a wild horse against the sky. Hold tight to his wings, and before you die, whatever else you leave undone, once, if only once, ride a wild horse into the sun. Doug, you do all these oddball things that there's no way in the world you could ever do them, but you pull it off. You ride a wild horse with purple wings.